the small state of Delaware has been thrust into the national spotlight this election cycle. After the pandemic derailed plans for a traditional Democratic convention in Milwaukee, Joe Biden has been using his hometown of Wilmington as a de facto base of operations. That is where he announced Kamala Harris as his running mate last week and where they will both deliver their acceptance speeches. To talk more about how all this looks from a local perspective, we're joined by Nancy Karabjanian. She is the Director for Political Communication at the University of Delaware. Before that, she was a longtime broadcast journalist covering the state. So, Nancy, you've interviewed Joe Biden many times. He is a man who seems to thrive on the stump. How do you think he's doing in this remote setting with all the campaigning that's happening virtually? You know, I have to think it is an adjustment. He is a people person. He, uh, I think if you were to ask the vice president if he preferred a camera with a teleprompter and an audience to one-on-one -on -one at a diner table, he would pick the diner table. So I think this has been a challenge for them, especially to be able to show his true strengths. How accessible has he been um, throughout uh, your years of covering politics in Delaware? Because as you know, he has been criticized, he is being criticized right now because they haven't really done a lot of press conference with reporters. Certainly reporters have a lot of questions of both he and uh, uh, Senator Harris. Um, and, you know, I don't want to compare and contrast because the president of the United States is the president and uh, because of that um, should make himself more readily available to reporters. And he has been. The president of the United States, uh, regardless of how you uh, think about him um, or how you feel about him, has been holding re regular press conferences where he takes questions from reporters. Vice President Biden, especially in the last uh, couple of weeks, has not, um, at least not to the extent that uh, the number of times the president is doing it. Why do you think that is? You know, I, I think that at this point of the campaign, it's it's better not to. Uh, if I put my political communication hat on, I'd say that, you know, why would you want to get involved in the tit for tat with the president at this point, which would change the nature of the press conferences completely, and wait until the time is right. He's now the declared candidate. So we'll see. Perhaps he will try it. He also doesn't have a press corps sitting around all day waiting to come up from the press corps area to be in, you know, to do a press conference, whether it be at the uh, Rose Garden or wherever. The vice president's got to figure out how to accomplish that within the confines of, of the geography of Delaware. Do, uh, how are the residents of Wilmington uh, when it comes to noticing sort of the political circus in town? Uh, uh, how are people feeling? You know, it was pretty quiet because we're all sequestered too. Um, however, since the decision was made to do the major points of the convention here, it's changed. It's uh, a lot of people uh, are saying they want to go down to the Wilmington Riverfront and check out who's staying at the hotel. Um, I know that there are former students of Mrs. Biden who have suddenly on social media started posting their yearbook pictures that she signed for them when she was their teacher. So suddenly there's this buzz in the air. Unfortunately, it's not like it would have been non-pandemic where you could say, oh, you know, I saw this person or that person at this restaurant because nobody's going out to restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, you know, as you are aware, uh, Delaware is, is reliably Democratic. It only has three electoral votes. Um, less than a million people live there. Wilmington is the largest city uh, with only 70,000 folks. Um, is there a political downside or perhaps a political upside in basing operations in such a small state? I, you know, Delaware is accessible. I don't think we have borders anymore. Uh, Delaware, as we know from uh, the video of Amtrak the first night of the convention, is right along the major rail line on the East Coast. Um, so we are accessible to D.C., to New York, to Philadelphia, to anywhere that you want to go uh, by air. I mean, where we are in Wilmington is 25 minutes from Philadelphia National Airport. I can get to the Philly airport quicker than someone who lives in downtown Philadelphia. So it is an accessible state. It likes to have its own identity. Delaware does not like to be considered a suburb of either Baltimore or Philadelphia. It is its own state. And uh, I think the fact that we don't have borders and we're in a pandemic, you just got to go with it and take what comes your way. <laughs> I also note that, you know, it's so interesting. You you hear people, you heard it last night again, you know, people sort of saying, 
you know, Joe, uh, uh, Delaware's favorite son, Joe Biden. And I'm thinking here, like, there are a lot of, people may not know, there are a lot of famous people that uh, come from Delaware, including uh, one of Bob Marley's kids who was born in Delaware. Valerie Bertinelli is from Delaware. Uh, Ryan Philippi is from Del Delaware, Aubrey Plaza. Um, so I don't know how Joe Biden compares to some of those folks. He may not be the most popular person to come out of Delaware. Well, he, I, I think the difference is in that he's a political person. So he wears his Delaware pride proudly. Whereas I don't think that, you know, every time you run into someone who's in Hollywood, Valerie Bertinelli doesn't run around saying, I'm from Delaware. Um, but Joe <laughs> Biden does. He's proud of that. And, you know, he's not originally from here. He's a transplant like so many of us are. And uh, he's made this his home. So he, he wears it. He wears the first state blue hem pride wherever he goes. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, Nancy, so great to talk to you. Thank you so much for giving us um, some of that local color that I think has been sorely missing um, from this discussion nationally. We really appreciate it. No problem. Good to talk to you.